I've got yarn galore, and I have no idea what I want to do with it. Hmm. I got an idea. Stay tuned. To complete today's stitch, the blanket stitch, all you'll need is any size 4 yarn of your choice, any color, whatever works for you, and your crochet hook. I'm using a size 5, but a size 5.5 5 will do, or whatever your preference is. Let's get started. The blanket stitch is worked in multiples of 3 plus 1. The blanket, so, for the purposes of this demonstration, what I'm going to do is work a chain of 24. So I'll start with a simple slip knot, like so, and then I'm just going to chain 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And then I'm going to add that chain, that additional chain. So there's my chain one. So what we're going to do next is we're going to work into the fourth chain from the hook. So not this first or second. Let me pull in closer for you. Not the first or second. Or even this one but we're going to work into this one okay so we're going to yarn over and then what we're going to do is we're going to insert our hook okay and pull up a loop then we're going to yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two okay now what we're going to do is we're going to skip two of these chains here and then we're going to work a single crochet and what we do is we insert our hook and pull up a loop then we're going to yarn over and pull through both loops okay now we're going to continue working into the same chain and we're going to yarn over and what we're doing is we're going to insert two double crochets into that same stitch where we put the single crochet so we yarn over we insert our hook and pull up a loop then we yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two we'll do a second one now yarn over insert our hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two good so we're going to continue working down this chain of 24 that we crocheted in the beginning and we're going to skip these next two chains and we're going to work a single crochet by inserting our hook, pulling up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Then we're going to do our two double crochets. Yarn over, insert our hook, and pull up a loop. There's three on the hook here. See that? Then we're going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And then one more. Yarn over insert our hook and we have three on our hook here yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two we continue working down this chain by skipping the next two okay the next two chains and then we're going to go into this one and we're going to add a single crochet okay like so and then we're going to place our two double crochets so we yarn over insert our hook 
pull up three loops or that one loop to make three and then we're going to yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and then we'll add our final one okay and there you go so what i want you to do now that we've worked a few of these is go all the way down the row and just remember what we've been doing so far we're going to be skipping two chains and then into the third chain we're going to add a single crochet and two double crochets and then we would skip two again and into the third we would add a single crochet and two double crochets and so on and so forth okay so work that until you have three stitches left or three chains that are left here and i'll be back at the end of that first row this is what your work is going to look like and remember i told you that we were going to be leaving those last three stitches so we can go back and work them together well finishing up is a breeze because all you would do is skip those last two chains and you simply add a single crochet to that last stitch so you would insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two okay so let's move on next what we're going to do is chain three two and three and then we'll turn our work so i want you to know that that first chain three that we just did will count as our first double crochet so what we're going to do is work a double crochet into that same chain or that same stitch rather as that chain that we just did so we're going to yarn over we're going to insert our hook pull up a loop and so now you have three on your hook yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two okay now what we're going to do is skip the next two stitches so and it can be interesting with these little clusters going so I'm going to pull in so you can see you're going to skip the next two so one and two and right here that's where you're going to start working your single crochet and double crochet clusters okay so you're going to go ahead and insert your hook here and pull up a loop you're going to yarn over and pull through two then what you're going to do is yarn over and begin adding your double crochets you see we have three loops on our hook here yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two then we're going to yarn over insert our hook and get ready to finish up with our third stitch which is our second double crochet yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two next what we're going to do is we're going to skip two stitches again <clears throat> one and two and into that third we'll do what we've done before go ahead and insert a single crochet by inserting your hook and then we yarn over and pull through those two and then we're going to do our two double crochets again yarn over insert our hook and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two all right we got one more double crochet yarn over insert our hook yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two excellent so now that we've done a couple together i want you to continue the same pattern and do remember what we're doing is we're skipping two stitches and into the third we're working a single crochet and two double crochets then we would skip the next two stitches and you see right here we would go ahead and work a single crochet and two double crochets and then the pattern would continue and see there's your third again with your single and two doubles and on and on until the end and i'll let you know what's next this is what you will have after the completion of your second row and as you can see there's a really nice pattern beginning to develop and that's what i love to see so let's finish up with this row and all we have to do is take a look here you have this stitch here that remains and you have the top of that first um chain that you made before so what you're going to do is work a single crochet into the top of that chain that's there come in there there you go work your single crochet and there you go next what we're going to do is we're going to chain three and i want you to stick around because we're going to do color changes 
and I'll show you how all that texture starts to come out and interplay with each other. So you're going to begin remembering that the chain three counts as a double crochet. We're going to yarn over and we're going to into that same stitch, place our double crochet. So we yarn over and we insert our hook and pull up a loop. Then we have three on our hook. You would yarn over next, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Then what we're going to do is skip two. You remember routine. And you would place a single crochet and then two double crochets. It really starts to be something where you don't have to think about it as much because it's very repetitive. And sometimes you just like that. You want a blanket that you can just kind of enjoy and go ahead and crochet along while you're watching your favorite movie or you know, listening to your favorite podcast or however you'd like. So moving back to our work, you would skip the next two stitches and do that same thing again. So you would go ahead and do your, your single crochet and then your two double crochets. And then you would skip two and add that cluster again. And here's another note I'll have for you. Um, as you begin to work, you really don't have to count. I mean, you always have to count and crochet, but you won't have to get down in there and, and really have to pull things apart to see where your stitches go. It really becomes a, a situation where you're able to really just look and you can go, okay, that one's next, that one's next, that one's next, the more you work at it. Okay, so finish this row and then I'll let you know what comes next. So after your third row, this is what you're going to be looking at. And this is the point where I like to start switching colors because I feel like you really get enough of that pattern of the stitch to where when you switch colors, you'll really start to see some interesting things happening. So to finish this row, just like last time, we're going to work a simple single crochet right there into the top. And then this is where you would change colors, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pull through this pretty blue color here. And I'm going to tell you, color is everything. You can have a beautiful stitch, but if you use the wrong color, it's just really going to be such a boring looking blanket. But if you use the right color, it's eye catching. It's just gorgeous. So color is everything. So let's move on. Now that we've slip stitched in our color, we went ahead and pulled it through. We went ahead and we added our chain three like we did before. And we'd go ahead and we turn our work. Okay. And since I don't like a bunch of tails sticking off my work, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just give the first color we worked in a little bit of a snip. Sometimes I leave it. Sometimes I don't get that out of the way so it's easier to work and I just like to sometimes just tie the colors together. Everybody's got their own way but I just find that it makes my work more secure and I can just use a darning needle when I'm finished and hide my ends so no one will ever know what I did right here. So I don't mind tying a little bit of a knot. So let's move on. Now that we've got our blue in and we've got our chain three here we're going to continue and we would do so by you guessed it, adding a double crochet into that same stitch as the chain three. So go ahead and do that. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And then what I want you to do, we'll, we'll do a couple clusters together and then I'll let you know what we're going to do to move on. Okay. So you're going to skip two and add your single crochet again and follow up with two double crochets. I really love this yarn. It's the Karen one pound yarn. That's what I'm using. And no, I don't have a sponsorship or anything like that. I get nothing from saying so. I just happen to love the yarn. So you continue by skipping those two stitches and go right here. And you yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. When we're doing our double crochet okay then you skip two add your single crochet 
And then you would add your double crochets and you know what to do. So meet me at the end of this row and then complete two more. And then I'll show you what's next, okay? All right. When you finish adding three rows of that next color, look at that. I love this stitch, really. I mean, I'm a crochet fan and I love so many different types of stitches, but this is definitely one of my favorites. And the reason why is because it's giving you such a lacy effect. Let me pull in so you can see this real quick. Isn't that pretty? Like, like it's a simple stitch, but you're getting all of this just beautiful. And look, if you turn to the other side, it's just as beautiful. I love that. So to continue working then now adding three rows of this blanket stitch to each color you choose, what I would do next is slip stitch back in this tan color that we started with before. Okay. Just slip that right on in. And then go ahead and do our chain of three. Okay. Perfection. And then turn our work and then start it all over again. So meet me back at the end and I will show you what's next. So this is what we have once we finished working three more rows of this blanket stitch across. Okay. And then from here, what I would do is go ahead and add purple. Be right back. Now with the purple added and three more rows of the blanket stitch completed, now you're starting to see it. You're starting to see these beautiful ripples that are coming across here and going back and forth and interweaving and I love it. Um, so this is what we're going to do next. I'm going to step away for just a moment and I'm going to quickly work up the remainder of this pattern just because I want you to see just the power of color and what it can do to elevate a blanket. Okay. So I'm going to add three more sections and be right back. Okay. Don't go away. So hopefully you can see what I've done here. I went ahead and added three more rows of color just to kind of be the match of this side. And you can really do whatever pattern you'd like. You can mix and match colors. You can even mix and match the numbers of rows. You don't have to do three rows of each color. You can mix and match it where you have four rows and then two rows of a different color, four rows and then three rows. And then however you would like to mix and match that pattern would be great. The options are many. And you can see that you can take even this swatch that I made and you can make something cool with it. I chose to make a crochet hook case here and that turned out beautiful. And guess what? I'm probably going to do something cool with this one too. I'm thinking maybe a phone case or a wallet or something like that. And you can put in your own liner, sew it all up, put a zipper. You can even uh, crochet together your own uh, straps that you like. Really, you guys, crochet is wonderful because you can literally do anything with it. So I hope you had fun with this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed crocheting with me today. and. I'll be back soon. But in the meantime, from my heart to your hooks, happy crocheting, friends.